So anytime you have a new product that we're using that say is completely new either to the shop or to you or just unsure of exactly how to use it, you could do one of two things. You can trial and error that thing to death and it can take you a long time to get to result or you can get to some pretty uh, specific end results a lot quicker. One of the easiest ways to do that is by using something called a technical data sheet something that a lot of people don't use with these products, but every single one of these products comes with one of them. They're created by the manufacturer. They're created in-house by the chemists and the people originally testing these products to <clears throat> give the customer some, some good guidance on how to use their product because they want to sell you more. They, they want you to succeed. So they actually give you some good guidance on it. So there's no reason to, uh, fight so hard to come to some of these these end goals that they've already figured out so um an easy way let me go over to the web browser here any product and i can i mean i i'll pick any product here so let's just go with you know you could pretty much use google and type in anything so i'm just gonna pick a random one that i know we haven't searched for before and when you go into Google, like literally just type in whatever that product is. And almost always the very first thing that comes up is this, which as you can see, has a PDF attached to it. That's the technical data sheet. So it looks like this. Also any of our manufacturer websites or distributor websites we get this from, they will have this on as a link down at the bottom of any of the product pages too. So when we open this up though, it's got all this stuff and it's interesting as far as, you know, down here, some of the, the precautions and things that you should use. Uh, this is compliance for if you have safety testing, but the biggest things are up in here. Here's what this does and how it works. And here's the other things you can use in conjunction with it and how, and over here on this side is these really wonderful things. It tells you what mesh counts they recommend. So for us, 86 to 230. So, you know, you, it tells you that with this kind of ink, you can't get into super high uh, mesh counts without having some issues with it. And notice there's no 305s or 330s. It tells you the screen tension they'd recommend. It tells you the durometer, the squeegee they'd recommend. Um, how to flood it, speed of how to print it. I mean, right here on this one specifically, do not use excess squeegee pressure. Cool. It tells you what it will flash at. So that means what it would gel at. So the flash temperatures shouldn't get hotter than that. And then it tells you what it will also cure at. So, so what the interior of the dryer should be reading at. Uh, down here, it tells you the type of ink pigments you can mix into it, which we don't use any of these pigment mixing systems. So for us specifically here, that's irrelevant. But, you know, if you're using the PC system with this, it would tell you, you can use up to 15%, but no more than that. You're going to have wash fast issues. If you do, it tells you what kind of additives or extenders you can put into it with this one here. They recommend you don't put any extenders into it, but if you're going to reduce it, you use uh, viscosity buster at 3% at a max. So, so that's really cool. Use these. It makes your job easier. The other really cool thing is that now almost every new product that we now get, so like here's one that we just got yesterday, has a QR code on it. If you're in the shop and you want to pull up that TDS real quick, you can Google it or you can scan that QR code and guess what shows up? That technical data sheet. So use those, make your job and your life easier, get to the end results quicker. Don't try and be smarter than chemists. Use the information they're giving you to your benefit.